Here's a Dominus. If you ever played Roblox, don't. You very likely know about this item being some of Roblox's most expensive lines of virtual items. Some, technically, are worth more than luxury supercars or a million six-packs of Oral-B Glide Comfort Plus mint-flavored dental floss. And it has an incredibly long history as Roblox, spanning 13 long years, which during that period, lots of things, mostly stupid, can happen. From causing cancer survivors to get doxxed and harassed, to accidentally exposing players to adult content, let's explore Roblox's history of the Dominus. Also, to get some housekeeping matter out of the way, I'll be only covering the line of Dominus from the wiki, not the DIYs or Dominus derived accessories. And while I will be listing the best price for each Dominus being sold for, I'll also include the more reasonable value for each from the Rollymon's website. Okay? Okay, cool. To start us off strong, here we have Imperius. Originally called the Hooded Valkyrie, this soon later took upon the name of the Dominus Imperius. It set the standard of what a typical Dominus would look like, a hood completely covering the face with two rings on each corner of the hood and four feathers that would extend from the back of each ring. The Imperius was created on January 24, 2010 with the small small price of 13,000 Robux. Why am I saying that's a small amount? Well, if you look at the price of the cheapest this one being sold nowadays... Yeah. However, according to Rollymons, its more realistic price is around 20 million Robux. Finally, its description reads... Quid quid latine dictum sit altum sonatur. That. You would think this is some sort of advanced message in Latin, when it really just translates to whatever is said in Latin sounds profound. This was also the start of the trend where Roblox would give Latin descriptions for most of the Domini I'll be covering later. The Dominus Infernus was released on July 20th, 2010, but since the wiki shows that the Imperius was the first, the Infernus unfortunately has to be second. Currently, its best price sits at 90 million Robux as of writing the script, while its more reasonable value tallies up to around 20 million Robux. Its model is the same as Imperius, but has its hood texture changed by its creator Hiccup789 to include fiery red lightning streaks with its golden rings on each side, and the four white feathers are tipped with red and a black line, which, let's be honest, looks a lot like four lit cigarettes. Does this imply that Hiccup smokes? Probably not. Finally, its description reads, Sic transit gloria mundi. That. Translating to, thus passes the glory of the world. Frigidus, released on March 24th, 2011, originally purchasable for 39,000 Robux, and it was made for a wish thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, designed by Sessy Cakes, who suffered in severe intestinal pseudo obstruction when your intestines can't digest your hot Cheeto and G Fuel diet, primarily due to muscle contraction issues. This Dominus has a cold light blue color for the hood, with silver rings in which in the center emit a faint blue glow. Then finally, has four light blue feathers, sort of Mimicking ice schools. The best price it's being sold at the moment is 333 million Robux, while its value is a much more reasonable 19 million Robux. And finally, its description reads Out vincere, out mori meaning either win or die. Some other noteworthy events was on December 3rd, 2022, it was listed as the most expensive limited, valued at 19 million Robux. Additionally, one crazy mad lad going by the name of Mr. Underscore Bean Guy, the creator of Ragdoll Engine, spent at least 200 million Robux for a copy of the Frigidus, which if you bought the 400 Robux for 4.99 deal, it would cost you around 2,495,000 USD. The Messer. Uploaded on October 25th, 2011, this Dominus was gifted to those who previously purchased the gift of the Dominator hat for 31,000 Robux. After a day later, the item went off sale, opening to reveal the Dominus Messer inside, which currently, its best price sits at 6 million Robux, while its value is around 3 million Robux instead. The hat itself is a mix of green and black as its main color scheme, with two glowing red eyes in the hood. Its feathers are gray, with a brown fade tip at the end, and finally its description reads Ut sementem feceris, ita metes. meaning as you sow, so shall you reap. The Vespertilio, uploaded on October 26, 2012, similar to the Metzer Dominus, this Dominus was obtainable by buying a gift hat. 
In this case was the gift of the Sinister Ascension for 31,000 Robux, which opened to reveal the Vespertilio Dominus. Currently, the best price is around 2 million Robux, while its value sits at around 1 million. While its hood looks basic with just a dark grey color scheme, the low poly feathers on this Dominus have instead been replaced by bat wings with green veins, contrasting pretty well with the basic dark grey hood of the Dominus. Finally, its description reads, Mors ultima linea rerum est, meaning death is the final limit of all things. A perfect Dominus for your average edgelord, except most were probably kids back then who couldn't afford this Dominus. The Urius. Released on December 18th, 2013, this Dominus was opened from the Muneris Urius Devex gift purchasable for 50,000 Robux, or awarded for free to developers who use Roblox's Devex program. The Urius was one of the most expensive prizes in Roblox's Gift Explosion 2013 event, where back then, each December, gift boxes would be placed in the Avatar Shop and you could either buy it or be awarded it for solving a riddle or fulfilling a criteria. As of the latest, its best price sits around 7 million Robux, while its real value comes to near 3 million Robux. Taking a look at the Dominus, it, it's just gold. Other noteworthy things about the Urius is, uh, I, I guess one time Creecraft purchased it with his prize money after winning RB Battle Season 1, and, uh, oh, oh yeah, it had its texture and mesh changed a few times, and, uh, wow, but, yeah, there's basically nothing here. Also, its description reads, Non tenea saurum totum quod splende tu taurum. When translated gives us do not take as gold everything that shines like gold, or something like that. The Dominus Astra, previously called the Dominus Noctis, was uploaded on June 23rd, 2014 as part of the Midnight Sale event of 2014. Initially priced at 75,000 Robux, currently its best price sits at 100 million Robux, while Rolimons values it around 12 million. One notable thing about the specific Dominus is that back in 2014, the moment this Dominus released, not even 7 seconds later, all 26 copies were completely sold out and lots of people got incredibly pissed about it in the forums. Another thing worth mentioning about the Dominus Astra is its previous name, the Dominus Noctis. Why did Roblox rename Noctis to Astra, you might be asking? And for context, back then when the Dominus Noctis was close to releasing, players were hyped about the new Dominus releasing soon and were talking about it in the forums. But then user Henry Fletcher 0107 made the unfortunate discovery of what happens when you searched up Dominus Noctis on Google and made a post about it for users to never search it up. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, people and probably miners did. Basically, when you searched it and went to images, you would see NSFW adult imagery. It can be assumed that Roblox took action by taking down the image, preventing people from accessing adult content, and additionally changed the name from Noctis to Astro. And its appearance has a dark blue shade with small stars, with the two rings matching the dark blue color of the Dominus, with the wings fading from its dark blue color to white. Finally, its description reads, Carpe Noctem. Translate to seize the night. The Dominus Rex. Published on May 23rd, 2015, initially this was purchasable for 75,000 Robux. It has a purple hood with a full black cover on the inside of the hood, like literally any other Dominus, along with golden rings. And finally, its white feathers are tipped with black and purple at the ends. Some of the last noteworthy things about this Dominus before moving on is that its description reads, a mare usque ad mare, meaning from sea to sea, which is actually Canada's national motto. So uh, if you're Canadian, leave a comment, I guess. Yeah. The Dominus Potassium. The Dominus Pitassium, published on March 15th, 2016 for the Tixapalooza event that involved the secondary currency Roblox used to have, Tix, involving lots of popular items being retextured with Tix-related themes. Originally, it was purchasable for 5 million Tix. Though it sounds a lot for a starting price for a Dominus, you have to understand, Tix was the free currency and you had many ways of earning it. Some being logging in daily for 10 ticks, earning 1 ticks per place 
just visit it and many other ways listed on the wiki. And Tix was worth much less than Robux, meaning you could also exchange Robux for a large amount of Tix, with Robux's now shut down Roblex program. Today, the best price for the Pitocium is 25 million Robux, while its value is around 4 million Robux. The Dominus has the distinct Tix yellow color for the hood and for literally everything else, with a fully dark cover on the inside of the hood with the two rings which both have the letter T in it and the feathers being replaced with ticks. Finally, its description reads, Eternum Vale, which means farewell forever. Prefectus. Released on October 24th, 2016, this Dominus was obtainable by buying the Donum Prefectus gift, purchasable for 31,000 Robux. This Dominus was also a part of Roblox's famous Overseer series, and its appearance has that usual black Dominus color scheme, but adds large green colored eyes around the hood and on the two rings. Additionally, the wings have a sort of green leopard slash vein pattern. Currently, its best price sits at 650,000 Robux, while its value is more closer to 540,000 Robux. Its description reads, Veni vidi vici, meaning I came, I saw, I conquered, quoting the famous Roman Emperor Julius Caesar, and is one of the most cheapest Domini, however, not the cheapest. The Dominus Venari, published on April 4th, 2018. As you might know, this was the prize for the oh-so-famous Ready Player One event, where the first player to obtain the copper, jade, and crystal key, along with beating the final objective of the event, which was to both complete an obby and solve the final quiz, would win this Dominus. The player that obtained this exclusive Dominus was Roku. However, with a free Dominus on the line that only one person can obtain, there had to be drama. Where Roku probably wasn't the first person to complete the final quiz due to a bug within the game at the final part, preventing people from advancing and claiming the number one spot. However, this is where it gets a bit more interesting, where the developer of the game, Raven Shield, actually fixed the bug but didn't shut down all the servers which still had the bug and didn't say a word about it to anyone, meaning nobody actually knew if the bug had been fixed yet or if they should just wait, meaning you would need to blindly guess that the bug was fixed and then complete the obby and quiz all over again. However, with all these circumstances, Roku, after many attempts of rejoining and doing the quiz over and over again, was lucky enough to complete a quiz on an updated version of the game first, which allowed him to get first place claiming the Venari. This resulted in lots of backlash thrown at Roku, even though this entire fiesta was technically Raven Shield's fault for not shutting down all the servers so that everyone would have a bug-free experience, nonetheless, people harassed Roku, accusing him of cheating in the event and, in some cases, say that people leaked some of Roku's personal information. However, in the end, Roku Roku is the said winner of the event, putting an end to what some would say the worst event on Roblox. Going back to the Dominus, its hood and rings have a golden plate color with the wings being replaced with the three keys, the crystal, jade, and copper key. Also, the description for the Venari is the exact same as the Prefectus, being the Julius Caesar quote, which I guess also makes sense for a prize that only one person can obtain. The Dominus Clavis, same as the Venari, was also made for the Ready Player One event, uploaded on April 16th, 2018, specifically as a reward for the developers of the game that were featured within the event, including BadCC, SCMO3089, Lutzazenimon, Shaylin007, Axis Angle, Biostream, Build Thomas, and Ravenshield. Looking at the Venari, it's basically just a retextured silver plate of Dominus from the Venari, along with the three keys replacing the wings you typically see on a Dominus, and surprisingly, this Dominus doesn't have an edgy Latin description. Wow. The Deadly Dark Dominus Uploaded on June 14th, 2019, this Dominus was only obtainable by redeeming a chaser code that was included with the limited edition Frostbite Toy Thingamajig Roblox had from the San Diego Comic Con 2019 event. The Dominus appearance is just a mix of black and a fade of red to make a nice looking Dominus overall, but 0 out of 10 because it doesn't look like the original design by Tinfoilbot, a well known figure back in the older days of Roblox with his satirical skit YouTube videos. 
Dominus. The Deadly Dark Dominus was actually an inside joke created by Tinfoilbot from a forum post back in 2012 where he supposedly spoke about rumored items that existed, but he accidentally deleted some of them, including a Dominus called the Black Dark Dominus, saying that he only knows about this one, but when you wore it, it would give you a real life curse and you would only have 5 days left to live, becoming a joke where only Tinfoilbot owns this Dominus, soon later renamed to the Deadly Dark Dominus. Then, after gaining the attention of some Roblox moderators with his popularity at the time, John Shalitsky actually turned this joke into a reality, making both the DIY Deadly Dark Dominus, which gives a nod to Tinfoil by in the description, and an actual Dominus, which he retextured himself. Also, there was that one time a test holder account for the Dominus actually got hacked by some random kid that soon on that account asked to borrow people's accounts. The Dominus from Medialosis. Published on October 30th, 2019, this Dominus was purchased both on launch for 13,000 Robux, and a day later, it became a limited. As you can clearly notice, the model for the Formigilosis strays further away from the original Domini, because this new mesh model was created by John T. Ape Games, which might ring a bell to you because he was the senior 3D artist for Roblox who was also in charge for over 1,500 assets for the Avatar Shop. With being released right before Halloween, its hood has a yellowish orange color with two rings being replaced with pumpkins and the feathers instead replaced with three dark purple sort of crystals. Currently its best selling price is at 142,000 robux while its value falls under 125,000 robux and finally its description reads Veni vidi territus which when translated means I came, I saw, I frightened. <laughs> The Dominus Desperationist, uploaded on August 25th, 2023, along with the Azure Light I'll go over later, this Dominus has been given to Theo, or Avi Bird Person. I won't go too much into the Desperationist because I'm saving that all for the last Dominus. This Dominus was made for Theo thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation after he beat cancer, giving Theo his wish for a Dominus on Roblox. However, there have been many reports that upon receiving the Dominus, Theo has been doxxed and harassed online many times at this point. For just receiving a Dominus because people on this platform hate it when someone gets something they don't. Additionally, the Dominus hood has a steel-like texture with two supposed vents on each top side. Additionally, it has light blue rings and feathers slash crystals. Finally, its description reads, Omnia morsa equator acta non verba. When translated, it means all death equals acts, not words. The Azure Light, uploaded on August 25th, 2023, gifted exclusively to MindGamer, a previous cancer survivor. This is because the Make-A-Wish Foundation was able to get Roblox to create a Dominus for him, and instead of a Latin description, it was a poem written by the MindGamer to symbolize his past experiences against his battle with cancer. And guess what? This was met with immense backlash, more specifically just piss off children, harassing, sending death threats, doxing the MindGamer. This completely unnecessary hate was likely due to to a mix of circumstances, but primarily because the moment the Zero Light and the Desperationis were announced, people were milking the situation on YouTube, with many YouTubers overhyping and spreading misinformation about these new Domini when really they were just created for a single person each. And finally, the Azure Light has a silvery swirling pattern with a golden outline on the rim of the hood and rings, and has the iconic skeptic face beneath the hood. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, and stay happy.